Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Hello. How was your day, guys? Bienvenidos, bienvenidos, chicos. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, uh, Brandon, how are you? So far, so good. And you? Great. I'm great to, hear, to be here with you guys. Shouldn't one meeting more, right? Yes. Teacher, I, ha I have a question. T yes, tell me. ¿Cuántos módulos tiene, digamos, el nivel básico? No sabe. Fíjate que ahí sí no tengo porque sí no sé cuántos, fíjate. Lo único que sí es de poder preguntarle a los chicos del staff. Ellos se van a decir cuántos módulos son en realidad, porque es, eh, ahorita te mentiría, no, no, no sé exactamente cuántos módulos son. Es que, ajá, yo me acuerdo que no sé si eran 12 los que vi. ¿Cuánto? 12, no sé. 12, maybe, right? Maybe. Could be, right? Could be, but I'm not sure about that. So that is why you can ask to the guys of the staff, right? Ajá, le voy a preguntar para ver. Gracias. Sí, porque este, para saber, ¿verdad? ¿Cuántos módulos son? La verdad, no, no, no. No sé exactamente, Brandon, Brandon perdón, Brandon. Así sí, que... porque cuando empecé, no me acuerdo que creo que más o menos vi que eran 12, en el intermedio 6, y creo que uh -huh. el final 6. No me acuerdo. El final, el, el avanzado, no viste cuántos eran. Creo que 6. Seis también. Intermedio. Ajá. Vaya, pero esos son más poquitos. Sí, eso voy a, creo que tengo el correo, voy a, voy a verificar. Ajá, y nos, nos avisas <ríe> para manejar <ríe> la información. <ríe> Porque sí, eh, sería bueno. <ríe> Yo nunca había, nunca había preguntado eso, la verdad. No me habían preguntado esa parte, pero sería bueno. Saber. Sí, voy a, voy a buscar el correo y le, le aviso. Bueno, gracias. Thank you so much for the information. <laughs> okay, guys. So, good evening, everybody. Welcome to this session, right? I'm glad to be here with you because you already are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine connected, right? And me, we are 10. Okay. So let's see. Let me tell you guys that today we are going to see a topic that we were studying before, but we're going to make a review because it's necessary because of the lesson, right? That we are going to touch today. Uh, it's going to be about a present progressive or in other words, a ING form, right? Or present continuous. What do we want to call it? It's okay, present continuous or present progressive. Remember that present continuous is when we are talking about the an actions that is making or is happening right now, right? Like I'm speaking, I'm talking, I'm seeing, I, what? I'm giving classes, I listen to you, right? I watching television, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And always is, <clears throat> If with the auxiliary verb be okay to be is um and are right so this is the auxiliary person that we are going to touch with the ing forms to to get the present progresses or present continuous guys okay so let's start but first of all we like to pass the list just give me some minutes to open the list and we are going to pass it. Okay, let's see. Um, 
ta, 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 14. Mm -hmm. 16, we are 17. Where we are, guys? Just give me some ah, oh, we are here. Okay, perfect. So let's start. Do the first time passing the list. Alex and no Ramirez Salazar. Ana Raquel Campos Sayala. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Rachel, Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you. Brandon Alexis Velasquez Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela. Denise Alejandra Zuniga Aldana. Present. Thank you. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Freddy Ricardo Landa Verde. Thank you. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Lainez Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Thank you, George. Luis Eduardo Reyes. María José Escobar Portillo. Present. Thank you. Maritza Celina Aguila Ramos. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Michael. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present. Thank you, Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you, Nancy. O'Kelly de Jesús de Mésica Carranza. Y Verónica Lisset Portillo de Casa. Present teacher. Thank you, Verónica. So this is the first time that we passed the list, guys. So we hope the others get connected later for the second time. Okay, so I'm going to share the screen, guys, because we are going to start with the class. And we are going to start with explanation, okay? First of all, I would like to make an explanation, then we're going to pass to the manual, okay? Let's see, guys. Okay, so let's talk about present progressive or present continuous, okay? And for that, we have uh, some time expressions. So that is a uh, later, tomorrow, in the afternoon, in the morning, at night, after work, next Monday, next Tuesday, etc., etc. right? Next year, next month, next day, the day past tomorrow. So these are some time expressions that we are going to use in order to form this one, right? But in this case, you can use it or not because we are just, we are going to we are not going to talk about future, you know, okay? We are going to talk about progressive process and progress, the action that is giving right now. Okay, so how to use present continuous or present progressive? The present continuous used to talk to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than now, okay? Or maybe the ones that happened right now. For example, we have, if we are talking about future, also we can do it. But the difference between present, present uh, continuous for future and present continuous in present is that you are going to use a time expression in future, okay? That's the difference. If you don't use a time expression for future, so that means it's present continuous or present progressive. For example, we have the subject plus the verb to be plus the verb in base form plus the ing form. For example, Maria is flying. Maria is flying, right? Maria está? Volando. Volando, could be an airplane, could be in another thing, right? Maybe. Okay, this is I'm flying to London tomorrow. But ese tomorrow nos dice que es future. Pero si usted no le pone el tomorrow, usted está solamente eh, especificando el presente progresivo, que es la acción que se está dando en el instante o el continuo. Ok, quiero que entendamos eso, ¿verdad? Que también podemos formar el futuro con el continuo o el progresivo, pero también podemos formar el continuo nada más en presente, en el presente, ¿verdad? Okay, so let's talk about more. 
to make the present continuous with, with future in this case, right? Or present progressive, we use am, um, is, are, plus the ing forms of the verb in present, right? And add the time marker. But the time marker tell us if it is in future, if it is in past, right? If it is in present. But we are not talking about future. We are going to talk about just present. For example, I'm staying at home. Esto lo vamos a obviar. Porque eso nos dice una acción para futuro. Esta es la time expression, ¿ok? Pero como ahorita vamos a hablar solamente de lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Entonces nosotros la vamos a quitar y nos va a quedar I'm staying at home. ¿Qué significa I'm staying at home? Me estoy quedando en casa. Ajá, I'm staying at home. Yo estoy... Estoy en casa, ¿verdad? O sigo estando en casa, right? Acuérdense que la ing form es endo, ando, ¿ok? So, let's see. Yo me Samantha, I'm getting married. Yo me Samantha, are getting married. Yo me Samantha, se están casando, casando right? Entonces, uh -huh. como estamos quitando el time marker o las time expressions, nada más estamos dejando la acción en presente, en progresivo. He isn't working. He isn't working. Así como también hay positive, hay negative. And one example of this is this one, okay? He isn't working. What does he doing? He isn't working, right? ¿Qué está haciendo? Ah, él no está trabajando, ¿ok? They aren't, they are living until, they aren't living, ¿ok? This is going to be out, right? So, this is, they aren't living. Ellos no están, what? Dejando. Ellas no están dejando, ellas no están saliendo, ¿verdad? En algunas situaciones se toma es como saliendo, ¿verdad? De algún lugar, pues, de, o dejando algún lugar, right? We are staying with friends. We are staying with friends. Si yo les digo, we are staying with friends, it says, we are staying. Nosotros estamos con... Mis amigos. Amigos ahorita, ¿verdad? Estamos estando, ¿verdad? Bueno, valga la redundancia, ¿verdad? Pero se toma como estamos, ¿ok? So let's see the negative form that I told you before, okay? It says, we form the negative by adding not to either the full forms of the short contracted form. For example, we have am, um, is, are, plus, not, plus the ing forms of the verb. For example, we have, we are not having a meeting. With not having a meeting, Okay, we're not having a meeting. Nosotros no estamos, no tenemos, no, estamos teniendo una reunión. una reunión, ¿verdad? Next, we aren't having a meeting. We are not having a meeting. Recuerden que también podemos hacer la forma larga, ¿verdad? No simplemente tienes que utilizar la forma contractada. Puedes utilizar la forma larga, ¿verdad? Y está bien, ¿ok? Okay, I am not coming to the party, right? No estoy yendo a la fiesta, no estoy llegando a la fiesta, ¿verdad? En este caso. Si lo queremos hacer futuro, pues le ponemos tonight, no voy a ir a la fiesta esta noche, que le da otro significado con la time marker or time expression. Si usted le pone, and I'm going to go to the party tomorrow, it's future. Pero si usted le, le dice, I am not coming to the party, no estoy llegando a la fiesta, es presente progresivo. ¿Ok? You see the difference? Yes, miss. Ok, perfect. Thank you so much. Vamos. 
Also, we have question forms. Always I told you, when we talk about question form, we change the position, the subject, and the auxiliary verb that in this case is verb to do. So to form the question, we arrange the word order, replacing or placing the verb to be before the subject. That is why I told you before, right? Um, Are you going to cons to the concert? Are you going to the concert? In este caso, vamos a quitar tomorrow, ¿verdad? Vamos a quitar tomorrow porque este es futuro. Pero si lo dejamos así, nada más. Are you going to the concert? ¿Estás yendo al concierto? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, I'm going. Al concierto, o irás al concierto. Si yo le pongo tomorrow o le pongo at night, es futuro. Irás al concierto en la noche, irás al concierto mañana. That's future. Pero si yo le pongo solamente, are you going to the concert? ¿Estás yendo al concierto? Acuérdense que el presente, ajá, acuérdense que el presente progresivo es la acción que se está dando en el momento. Por ejemplo, I'm speaking. What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Where are you? Huh? Listen to the class. I'm listening to, to the class or I'm here in the class, right? So always you are going to use the auxiliary verb that in this case is verb to be that is I am with I'm. hitting the base forms of the verb plus the ing form. ¿Qué es ing form? ing al final del verbo. En ese caso es hitting that is the principal verb. Okay? Es lo que quiero que, que, que entendamos. Si nosotros le ponemos una time marker o una time expression para el futuro, entonces está, estamos diciendo algo a futuro, porque el ING también nos permite hablar de futuro. No solamente de las acciones que estamos haciendo en el presente, ¿verdad? Que se están dando en este instante, sino también nos permite hablar de cosas que haremos más después en el futuro. <coughs> ¿Ok? Pero lo que lo divide, la línea que divide entre present progressive and present progressive for future is the time market. Time. Mm -hmm. Or a time expression. Por ejemplo, are you going to the concert? ¿Estás yendo al concierto? ¿Pero qué tal si le pongo tonight? Irás al concierto. Irás al concierto esta noche. Entonces quiere decir que hablamos de futuro. No es la acción que se está dando en ese instante, sino que la acción que tú vas a hacer en la noche. Pero si yo le quito la, la time marker o la time expression for future, es la acción que se está dando ahorita. Yo estoy yendo. ¿Estás yendo al concierto ahorita? Sí, yo estoy yendo. Yes, I am. ¿Ok? Yes, I am. O no, I am, I am not. Right? ¿Es okay? Okay, perfect. Excellent. Let's continue. Also, we have, is your mom joining us for dinner next week? By S is a time expression for future. Next week. ¿Qué significa la next week? Próxima semana. La próxima sí. semana. Entonces, esto es futuro. Okay. ¿Tu mamá nos acompañará a cenar la próxima semana? Ya no se toma como endo, ando, sino que se toma como futuro, nos acompañará, ¿ok? Pero si yo le quito la time expression, is your mom joining us for dinner? ¿Está tu mamá acompañándonos para cenar? ¿O está tu mamá cenando con nosotros? ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay, perfect. And here we have another one. Is she seeing him tomorrow? El, ella lo verá el mañana. Pero si le quitamos tomorrow, está viéndolo a ella ahorita. ¿verdad? Sí, ella está con él, ¿verdad? Fue a verlo. Está viéndolo ahorita en un instante, ¿verdad? Está con él. O está con él. Right? In this case. That's the meaning of each a type of sentence. If you are going to put, or you, you are going to place a time marker, it's going to be future. But if you don't 
right time marker is present privacy right now. That is happening right now. So questions, guys? Questions? No question, teacher. Okay, perfect. so let's continue, let's practice. I'm going to ask you some questions and then we're going to put, pass to the online practice, okay? So I'm going to ask you, victims or volunteers? Victims. <laughs> victims, right, okay, you like victims, okay? Victims. Perfect, victims. <laughs> okay, connect your camera because if you're connect your camera, I'm going to choose you, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you guys. Nice to see you again, right? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Nancy, okay, Nancy, are you there? Nancy Saldaña? <laughs> Nancy? Hello? No? Okay, Veronica Portillo? Yes. Hello, Verito. Ahí estás. Okay. Thank you so much for answering me. Okay. What are you doing, Veronica? I am listening. <laughs> listening to you. Okay. I am listening to you. Okay. <laughs> You're <Good>, excellent. <laughs> what are you? Okay. What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to work. Exactly. Tomorrow, right? <laughs> I'm going to yes. work tomorrow, tomorrow. Right? the oh, time okay, marker, okay. okay? You see the yeah. difference, that's different between present progressive right now and present progressive for future or present future. continue for future, okay? Thank you so much, excellent. Okay, thank you. Bueno, Levero, te salvaste, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, vamos, 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 chicos. Okay, who else? Brando, okay, Brando? Hello? Hello, Brandon. What are you doing right now? I'm eating my dinner. I'm eating my dinner. And what are you do? What are you going to do tomorrow morning? I'm going to work. I'm going to work morning. tomorrow in the morning, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now we're going to see the next one. Rachel, are you there? Rachel? Sorry, teacher, I think I was, I was. Oh, you are, you are on your way home? Yes. Okay, perfect. I didn't say anything, right? Okay, let's see, Denise. What are you doing, Denise? I see you so thinking. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> teacher, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm, I, I am. <laughs> I am drinking water. <laughs> I am drinking some water. <laughs> okay, perfect. And what are you going to do tomorrow? <laughs> in the afternoon, okay? Tomorrow. In the afternoon. Tomorrow I'm going to... Okay, tomorrow I'm going to take my lunch in the afternoon. Okay, perfect. Good, so good. Thank you so much, Denise. George, what are you doing? I see you so thinking also like this, right? George Ernesto Hernandez Duran, what are you doing? I see you like this. <laughs> right now I'm trying to learn in English. I'm trying to learn in English. Excellent. And what are you going to do tomorrow at night? Tomorrow at night, I, I'm going to learn in English. Also, <laughs> I'm going to learn in English <laughs> too. Okay, perfect. That's great. It's valid. Sí, es cierto. It is true, right? Okay, thank you so much. Ana Victoria, okay. What are you doing right now, Ana, Anita? I am writing my, the class. Okay, I am receiving my class, all right? Taking my classes, right? Uh, okay, perfect. Is writing. Oh, ah, writing. Yeah. Okay, I did it very well. Okay, so you are you're writing your class. Okay, perfect. Yes. <laughs> so, and what are you going to do tomorrow at noon? Uh, at noon I am going to the college. 
for um, for carrying my daughter. Okay. So I am going to go to school, take to take mm -hmm. him or taking my okay. daughter, right? A recoger a mi hija, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect, excellent. So Morelia Perdomo. What are you doing? Morelia, tengo bien un papadita ahí con lápiz. So I'm going to be interested in what you're going to say, right? I'm just um, drawing in a page. Okay, so you are drawing on a page, right? Okay, perfect. So what are you going to do tomorrow uh, in the afternoon? I'm going to work in the afternoon and I'm going to drink a coffee cup. Okay, you are going to drink a coffee cup. Excellent. Thank you so much. Michael, what are you doing? Mm, I try and learn more English with uh, English class. Okay, so you are trying to learn more English with the English class, right? Okay, perfect. So what are you going to do tomorrow okay. in the morning? In the morning. In the morning, always I go into my job and, and, and always I take a bus at 6.30 a.m. Okay, so you are going to take a bus, okay? You are going to take a and bus. And then I go okay. into my job. Or I taking a bus, you can say that. I'm taking I'm, a bus. I'm taking a bus, okay? I'm taking right. a bus. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. Thank you. You're welcome. Freddy's, Lando Verde. I see a chinito, right? Like uh, you are sleepy, right? <laughs> so I'm going to wake up. Okay, what are you doing right now, Freddy's? Um, I am smiling. I, I am smiling for i going to drink tequila. Really? Okay, so we really? are going to drink tequila. <laughs> But this is future time, right? But what are you doing right now? Um, I am going to listen to class. All right, listening. I am listening, listening my class. I am listening my, my class. class. My okay. class. So what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm drinking a... What is it? <laughs> no. I'm going to work. Okay, yeah. I'm working. Okay, I'm I, working tomorrow. No solamente puedo utilizar el going to para formar el, 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 el futuro. También lo puede hacer con el auxiliar verbo to be como que estés hablando con el continuo, I, pero solamente le vas a agregar la time marker, que es para futuro, para definir que tomorrow. es el futuro. Okay, so you are going to say, I'm working. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, I'm sure. working tomorrow. Tell me. I'm working tomorrow. Will. ¿Cuándo se usa? ¿Cuándo? ¿El qué, perdón? El will. El will. Ah, will uh -huh. se usa sí. cuando vamos a hablar acerca del futuro, pero un futuro no tan cierto, ¿verdad? Porque tú no estás tan seguro de qué va a pasar. Y el going to es para el futuro que sí estás seguro que va a pasar. Por ejemplo, la acción de que va a ser a trabajar es lo más seguro posible. <laughs> Entonces, en ese caso sí podemos utilizar el going. Pero si tal vez tú estás hablando que va, tal vez vas a salir con tus amigos después del trabajo, puede ser que sea una posibilidad o no, sea posible o no sea posible. Entonces, ahí sí puedes ocupar el will. Ok, pero ya no se ocupa el verbo con el ing o, o siempre. No, sería no, el verbo nada más y el will y como auxiliar. Entonces, ya sería, por ejemplo, I will go Go out with my friends after work. Okay. I will go out with my friends after work. Voy a salir con mis amigos después del trabajo. I'll. Okay. Puedo utilizar la contracción o puedo utilizar I will. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Let's continue, guys. Vamos a ver, María José. What are you doing? I see. Right video. now, I'm listening the answers to the end of the class classmates. Okay. What are you going to do tomorrow? In Tomorrow, the evening. In the evening. Um, I'm going to connect to this class again. Okay, I'm <laughs> going to connect to this class again. Okay. Yes, you're, you're right, okay? Jorge Alberto Laines Diaz. Are you ready? What are you doing right now? 
Oh. I drink. I am drinking my coffee. Uh -huh, you are drink. You are drinking <laughs> your coffee. Okay, drink, excellent. Yes, drink, okay. Yeah. I go to buy a pizza tomorrow. Yes, invite us, please. So join us. <laughs> okay, join us. Invite us. Right? Of the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you are going to buy or you are buying a pizza, right? Tomorrow. You can use okay. I'm Enjoy going to. Puede ser, I'm buying a pizza tomorrow. Las dos formas son válidas, okay? Yeah. I will buy a pizza tomorrow. Yes. No. Yes. You, oh. you can use it, but when you are talking about the future, but when you are when you are using the will as auxiliary. Pero si usted está utilizando el progresivo, tiene que siempre ser con ING4. I'm going. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Ok, somebody else, vamos a ver quién me, se me queda. Todos les pregunté ya, ¿verdad? Solamente Alex y no, pero creo que Alex está en camino a casa, right? Alex. Ok, perfecto. So, let's continue. Después de haber hecho eso, chicos, vamos a mandar la práctica en línea. Vamos a, a tener dos. Sí, para todos. Vamos a tener dos prácticas nada más y luego pues pasamos al manual, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, let's see. Ok, guys. Let's see, let's see. Vamos a ver. Ahí está. Entramos, chicos, and I'm going to show you what you are going to find out there. Let's see. Ay, pero si se me fue el otro que no era este. Se me fueron varias. No, entonces no, ese no lo abran. Es el otro. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Saqué el otro que no era. Permítanme, chicos. Sorry. A ver. Qué cosas, qué cosas. Es que me son mil, chicos. Okay. Vamos a ver, where are you guys? <coughs> bueno, vamos a poner una fácil. Y vamos a fácil. Bueno, vamos a ver así. Ese otro, voy a borrar el anterior para que no se confundan. Stuff. This is easy, right? It's not difficult. It's easy, guys. Volaris, Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> ¿Y qué pasó? Salió otra cosa, permítame. No, es el anuncio. Ah, this is no. <laughs> Don't pay attention to that, please. <laughs> But if you want if you want to fly for Christmas, you can do yes. it, right? <laughs> if you are thinking to fly to another country, you can take into account, right? Volaris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Re, 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 re. Pensé que no me quiere abrir esta cosa. Ahí sí. This is easy, right? So just to have to use the word that is between parentheses in 
write it down the auxiliary verb that corresponds to each pronoun and apply the ing form to the verb that is between parentheses and that's all okay that's all this is easy just to remember this structure because you already see it before previously in the course that you have done teacher are we going to use the verb be too yes or you have, yes okay. you have to add it as auxiliary verb remember that is that's the structure pronouns or subject plus the verb to be plus the verb in base form plus the ing form plus the complement thank you you're welcome um, they play in the football mm -hmm. yeah okay solo el verbo yes you have to apply the the verb to be first they con cual forma del verbo to be va they they are ajá uh -huh, they are y luego le they aplica are. la ing form to the verb yes al verbo Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's all. Okay, who's the first one? Okay, easy, right? This is George. Okay, Jorge Ernesto Hernandez Duran. Okay, congratulations, George. 10 of 10. Excellent. Six, five. What? <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Freddy? <laughs> six, six to ten. <laughs> no worries. That you're great. It's the first time. There's no problem. Okay. The most you practice, the most you learn. No worries. <laughs> what are you laughing? <laughs> okay, tunal. This is tunal. Okay, nine of ten. Okay, tunnel. Who's tunnel? It's me, teacher. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, Maria Jose. Yes. <laughs> no, let's get tunnel. You can use tunnel. <laughs> well, okay, perfect. Ahora sí voy a decir que es. Um, three years ago, I was practice Nahuatl. So uh -huh. tunnel is solely Nahuatl. Ah, okay. <laughs> So, okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Buen, commercial, right? Conocimiento what? general. Okay. Now what? To know what? Know what? 
Tunal. Tunal, tunal Moshu. Ah, ah, miren, nos, nos van a enseñar ahora. Queremos aprender, no... <risa> Queremos aprender de eso también, ¿no? Bueno, eso sí. Ya no, no se usa. Pero es parte de nuestra cultura. Hay que aprender. Solo de la... Ajá. De la canción de Kinder. Ah, ok, perfecto. Morelia, 10 of 10. Ale, Zúñiga, 9 of 10. Excellent. Denise, right? Verónica, 9 of 10. Also, Nancy, 9 of 10. Excellent. Congratulations. This is easy, right? So just have to remember this fruit one. And then we're going to go. Okay, let's agree. What is the first one? Remember that always you are going to write the auxiliary verb that goes with the personal pronouns that you have there. They are playing. They are playing the football. Okay. He is singing. He is singing. Okay. Vamos con la siguiente. She She's reading, muy bien. She's reading. She's reading a book, okay? Tom. Tom, Tom is jumping. jumping, muy bien, excelente. Tom is jumping. My mom. ¿Quién es my mom? My mother is making a es, cake. Ajá, es ella, ¿verdad? Entonces quiere decir que es yeah. tercera persona, por ende vamos a poner is. Is making a cake for me, ¿ok? Number six, Martin is playing the guitar. Is playing the guitar. Playing the guitar. The chef. The chef is cooking, He's right? cooking. Okay, it's cooking. They they are riding riding a bike. Riding they are riding a bike. a bike. Muy bien, a bike. Riding a bike. A bike. Ese es el tema que escribir. Okay, let's see. The bird it's is flying. Flying, muy bien. The bird is flying. Let's continue with the last one. We we are making we are making, making a snowman. Okay, estoy haciendo un hombre de nieve. Okay, so this is all that you have to do, guys. And then you have to answer, check your answer, right? Yeah, aquí me salió right. Me salió mala. Maybe because I did a riding well, right? Riding a bike. Excellent. Riding bikes. En este caso sería, ¿verdad? Es que no le puse el plural. Sí, yo le puse singular y es en plural. Bikes. No, es que tiene... Se va una N. Una N. Ah, sí es cierto. Aquí en medio, si no me había fijado. Sorry for that. That's mistakes of spelling, right? Okay, but you... You did it well, okay? Pues lo hicieron bien, ¿verdad? Okay, perfecto. Let's continue, guys. Vaya, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Ahora vamos a seguir con la parte de manual, pero primero que todo quiero que me escriban en el chat. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? ¿Qué es lo que, qué es lo que va a hacer usted la próxima semana del día sábado? ¿Qué va a ser la próxima semana el día sábado? What are you going to do next week on Saturday? Using time expressions or time markers, mm -hmm. please. No me digan que trabajar, chicos, porque no, inventen otra cosa. Make up, invent, please. <laughs> okay, we try to get away from the stress of the work. 
And now we are going to talk more work. No, it's not possible. Try to invent another thing. So try to imagine that you are going to make something different, right? Something that you can get relaxed, something like this, right? Something happy and good for you. In el chat de la meeting, please. Yes, with you. Okay, perfect. So this uh, Brandon, this uh, person, can I say más anterior? Okay. Brandon says, on Saturday, I'm going to celebrate my mom's birthday. Okay, great. Could you give us cake, right? <laughs> Vamos a ver. Maria Jose, I'm going to hike Ilamatepec Volcano. Okay, Maria Jose, so you are extreme, right? <laughs> extreme person, right? So you are a brave person also, right? Nancy dice, eh, pensé que se me pasó. Nancy, I'm going to watch Netflix next Saturday, okay? Okay, I'm going to watch. Or I'm watching, but acuérdense que no solamente tienen que utilizar el going to, porque el going to es, es eh, lo, In the future. Lo segundo. Podemos utilizar solamente la forma, ¿verdad? Que hemos estado este, practicando, que es el, be, el, so, el subject más el verbo to be más el otro verbo con la, el ing. Quiere decir que si usted dice, I'm going to watch Netflix, usted puede decir, I'm watching Netflix next Saturday. Porque next Saturday ya me dice que va a ser la próxima semana, el sábado, o el próximo sábado, ¿verdad? Entonces, también es posible que usted lo pueda hacer de esa forma. También es válido con el going to. Me lo puede decir que no, sí se puede. Pero también se lo puede hacer utilizando la ing form del verbo base más el auxiliary verb to be. Y eso es todo. La time market me dice el futuro, ¿ok? Let's see. Morelia dice, vamos a ver. Where are you, Morelia? ¿Por qué se me pasó? Okay, Morelia, I'm doing exercise on next Saturday, right? Next Saturday before work. Okay, excellent. I'm doing, Morelia lo hizo así, ¿verdad? Como la estructura. I'm doing exercise next Saturday before work. Okay, excellent. Veronica is, I'm going to shopping with my mom next Saturday. Ah, oh, I get you. Me quisiera ir a comprar también, ¿ok? Un día de eso, pues. <ríe> ok, George Ernesto Hernández. On Saturdays, I'm going to pay some receipts. So you're going to pay? So are you talking about the work or are you talking about bills, right? Ok, Michael said, I'm going to the park with my son and wife in the morning at 8 a.m. Ok, excelente. Congratulations, that's good, right? That's a good activity. George Alberto Laines Diaz, I'm going to, I'm going fishing, okay? I'm going to fishing, muy bien, excellent. Fred Islanda Verde, next Saturday, I will go to the beach. Mm. But in this case, friends, we are using the ING form with the verb to be. This is future, but we will. This is another pistol, right? Como dice. Next. <laughs> next is... <laughs> Next, next, right? Next Saturday, I'm going to the beach. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much. Denise said, I'm celebrating my dad's birthday on Saturday. Excellent. So we have two birthdays on that day, right? Ana Victoria, I'm doing environmental education activities with children in Hibor River next Saturday. Mm, interesting activity, right? Some environmental education activities. 
Good, excellent. Congratulations, Anna. Friends, next next Saturday, I'm going to the beach. Okay, excellent. That's <laughs> the way that I told you before. Thank you so much. <laughs> bueno, miren, qué bonitas actividades vamos a tener el próximo sábado. Vamos a estar de fiesta y vamos a hacer cosas que nos gustan, ¿verdad? Y que nos, nos desestresan. Eso es bueno. Vamos a pasar tiempo en familia también. And that's good for me. And that's good for you also, right? Congratulations. So let's continue, guys, with the manual, okay? Vamos a ver. Just give me some minutes. I'm going to open the manual. George, okay, George. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta, George? No, solo comentarle que tendría apagada la cámara porque solo tengo un 13% de carga. Okay, perfect. No worries, George. I understand that. Go ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> ¿Está cargando, niños? No quiere cargar. Creo que esta es la primera página. Y yo quiero esto. You need three, right? No he tenido más problemas, chicos. No. Okay, so we were in pay on page 30, right? We finished that no. We we were on page 32, girl, I guess. 34, no, 32. Yes, 32, right? So let's continue. How often are training schedules in your company? Do you attend taking trainings? Vaya, ¿qué tan seguido usted ya se tiene entrenamientos en su trabajo, en su compañía? O tiene un horario de entrenamiento o capacitaciones, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Workshops and those kind of things. ¿Qué tan seguido le da una capacitación en su trabajo? Every six months. It's, it's six months. Six months. Okay, perfect. Who else? Yes. yes. Do you attend to that? Every, every workshop that you have? Yes, you are an yes, you are I have to. <laughs> yes. yes, you have to, right? I have to. <laughs> Why? Rarely. Rarely, teacher. Yearly, okay? Yearly? Okay, perfect. Do you attend to that? Always. Always do you attend to that. Veronica? Sorry. Always no, you no. attend R rarely. Ah, rarely. Okay, rarely. Yeah. <laughs> Just think of it, yes, yearly, annualmente. No. No. Okay. So when you have never. that kind of <laughs> never, never really. Okay, que bueno. Don't say que bueno y que mal, right? But that's the point, right? Okay, thank you so much. Who else? Que más? How often are trainings scheduled in your company? George Ernesto Hernandez? Uh, every six months. Every six months. Do you attend to that? Yes, I attend. Okay, why? It's trying to explain. La pregunta era si asistía, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Because, yes, I, I attend because um, first I can know all the people mm -hmm. of, of the company mm -hmm. and, and I always I can learn something, okay. something so, new. Okay, right? you learn yes. something new in each workshop or training right okay perfect excellent yes. Ernesto. congratulations 
You, Michael, how often do you have training schedules in your company? Well, in my company, often, almost always, because okay. I have a, a lot of work. So you have yeah. you have to be sometimes right. It's a ninety percent. Okay. Uh, for me, is about uh, three months. Three months. Each three oh. months. How can I say brigada de emergencia? Emergency bridge, something like that, right? Okay. Uh, and then a uh, uh, training about um. FPS mm -hmm. en Montacarga, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, no, no, ahorita te lo busco, ¿ok? Porque sinceramente eso sí no, no, no sé. Montacarga. Yes. Just uh, give me some minutes. Lift truck. Lift yeah, truck. Yeah. Ah, pero tú dices como la, la, la cosa que levanta las pesas. Yeah, dice yeah, elevator. Huh? It's like yeah. an elevator or lift. Ok. Uh, no sé cómo explicar eso el de montacargas y he eh, recibido muchas pero no podía explicarlo en, en inglés va y qué es lo que este quieres decir que este cada capacitación este valga la redundancia te capacitan para esa área sí brigadas de emergencia este montacargas eh, uso de pps este, cómo atender un problema, y tengo un montón de cosas que mmm, puedo desempeñar en mi trabajo. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. no sé cómo explicarlo en inglés. Ok, eh, eso es lo que, te, lo que te decía, emergencia, emergency, no, no va a perder, emergency, bridge, 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 That's that's the 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 word, okay? And montacarga is a slip or elevator, verdad? Cuando estamos hablando de elevadores de edificios, es elevator, verdad? Pero depende del contexto que estás hablando, así vas a tomarlo como montacargas o elevador de un edificio. Pero puedes utilizar elevator or lift truck. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank so you, teacher, you're me. welcome. Somebody else who wants to share. Daniel? Alex? Sis? Yes, teacher. Okay, Alex? Uh, never. Never? You never have a yeah. workshop? A workshop? Or a training schedule? Um, they... They never... Give us. Give us training. Really? Okay. Uh, yes, uh, because the area mm -hmm. is necessary. You uh, is necessary that you. How do you say? How do you say? Uh, ya estés sabedor de, de las cosas o ya it's, tengas conocimiento. Okay, it's necessary that you have a knowledge about that area. Uh, it's, necess it's necessary that you have uh, knowledge. Uh, have knowledge about that area. About that area. Or that uh, area. Oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> so in the requirements, in the requirements, okay, perfect. In the requirements, in the requirements, right? It's necessary that you have that knowledge, previous knowledge, yes. right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Es, es, bueno, eh, disculpe el español, ¿verdad? No, 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 <laughs> lo que pasa no, es que el área como literalmente, bueno, los, los, el área donde estoy es como que entras eh, en el puesto y ya de una vez en acción <ríe> entonces si no sabes nada en el camino tenés que ir aprendiendo todo 
O sea que vos llegas y te tiran del palo y ahí vemos qué hacer. Exacto, al agua, pato. <ríe> al Sí, agua, patos. o sea, lo, lo, más, lo más normal es que uno ya llegue con conocimiento para que ella no se adapte rápido, digamos. Ok, perfect. Ajá. A little bit where, but it's happened, right? Okay, Ana Victoria, how often do you receive training or uh, workshops in your company? Um, um, like two or three trainings in the year. Uh -huh. and, and I take other um, trainings for mm -hmm. of the, my interns. In, oh. I will go to Mexico in November. Oh, really? Or a workshop. <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> So it's interesting, right? That you 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 apply or you receive that training with pleasure, right? Because you're going to travel to another country and you have some benefit in that workshop, right? <laughs> you're yes, going to for... know new countries. <laughs> yes, okay. In January I went um, to Mexico for workshop. Also, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If for I there are um Methodology for uh -huh. beers. The uh -huh. name is Motus. Is for trekking. Uh -huh. Beers. Oh, para rastrear aves. Ah, okay. So. Trans. No sé cómo se dice. Transmisores. Colocando transmisores. A las aves. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Sí, sí. Mire, es bien interesante. Lo bueno que es el workshop en otros países y, y no le dan tiempo sí. para divertirse. Uh, no. <risa> Only for workshop. Because oh, the, the, the company paid the, all the costs. All for the, the costs of the, of, the, of the workshop, of the trial, right? Uh -huh. That's great. You are going to see new countries, new people, new environments. So this is going to be good for you, right? The, oh. uh -huh. Biology is very interesting because I know different countries for my work. Okay. Colombia, Peru. Mire que bonito. Um, los Costa Rica, que le dan. Panam Panamá. Yes. It's yo, very quiero, interesting. yo quiero un workshop de esos. <laughs> It's very interesting. <laughs> okay. So, this is going to be like a diverse uh, receive transmissions, like to be uh, identified where they are, right? Como los transmisores, transmissions, mm -hmm. right? Something like yeah. this, right? Uh -huh. Y ustedes se los ponen o, o les enseñan. No, se llama. Eh, de, de el, la metodo, eh, bueno la metodología es motus y es wildlife tracking systems ah. entonces transmis, no. transmisores es en transmitters transmitter ajá uh -huh. no nosotros no estamos colocando porque no tenemos el sistema que es unas antenas uh -huh. que registran la frecuencia de los transmisores Oh. Pero estamos esperando instalar quizás el otro año el primer sistema en, en El Salvador. Is something um, like a microchip or uh -huh. pet? Sí, like microchips. Y cada uno tiene su propio panel solar para carga. De verdad. Son, sí, son, son a little. Interesante. Uh, a little. Uh -huh. so, they are tiny, right? Yes. Y tiny, chiquitos. I, Na, nano, nano tecnología. Nano tecnología. Tecnología, right? Technology. Okay. Hay awesome. para mariposas y para libélulas también, no solo para aves. Wow. So interesting, right, Morelia? Yes, it, it's interesting because, well, I I work with pets and we put he, put the put it. Uh huh. Microchip. Microchip. Yeah, because the the pets have sometimes travels to other other country, for example, mm -hmm. Mexico, Guatemala, or USA, or um, 
Spain. So mm -hmm. they need uh, the microchip. Uh, but here in El Salvador, there are not the technology for register. Uh -huh, for register. The, the number microchip just in in Spain and USA. So, so another, another countries, right? Another country, yes. Here they're not, but it's necessary to to out to the country. Ah, okay, but the most important yeah. that you are applying that technology, right? Also, yes. it's in another country, but we hope that soon, soon, right, we can have it here for the animals, not for the people, right? Because if, <laughs> yes, you, if you apply it for the people, it's going to be a big problem <laughs> with the toxic yes. <laughs> and the toxic. <laughs> I'm just kidding, yeah. right? <laughs> so, would you buy something like this? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mira, Denise, me da risa. <laughs> I didn't need this, but I even like cosa. Do you would you buy a, one thing so I like, like that? So you can compare your microchip this <laughs> some broma <laughs> Denise. <laughs> okay, somebody else wants to share. No? <laughs> okay, let's continue, guys. Vamos, porque los demás se me están desconectando. Okay, so let's see. I need some volunteers that can help me with this this short conversation about that area. Okay, we have Mr. Perez and Jackie. Who wants to participate? I. Okay, perfect, me. Alex. Go ahead and me. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'm Jackie. Okay, Morelia. Um, Mr. Perez. Ah, no, no, perdón. <laughs> Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company, you are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the pro procedures to request I'm training? I'm oh, sorry. I'm afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Okay, perfect. And the, the, and the conversation continues, right? But this is going to be something that you are going to do but later, right? So let's see. Let's see the pre-work. Get in person, discuss the following questions. We are not going to make some prayer work because we just have two questions. So we are going to spend a lot of time to making the work, the, the breaker rooms, right? So we are going to make it like this in general, okay? Number one, what is Mr. Perez's role in the company? What is Mr. Perez's role in the company, guys? This is for all of you guys. I think that he's in charge of the personal, of the new personal. Okay, so he's like what? Like a human resource? I think. Uh-huh, human resource. Uh-huh, he is a trainer, something like this, right? Maybe, right? It's part of that area, right? Okay. So let's see number two. What do you think is going to happen next? He's going to explain all the activities or responsibilities in the company. Uh-huh. So he is going to explain it, right? Let me explain this to you. So you, he is going to explain the processes that they have in that area or what they are going to do, the duties and the responsibilities that he or she is going to have in that area. Okay, perfect, excellent. So let's continue. Read the processors at RC company, right? RC company, processors to request training, right? First, what is the first one? Vamos a ir leyendo una por una. Voy a ir eligiendo a cada uno de ustedes para que practiquen el reading, okay? Vamos a ver. 
George Alberto Laines Diaz. Read the first one, please. The Charles, the training you are interested on. Mm -hmm. Listen to the bulletin board. Listen to the uh, bulletin board. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. Number two, Maria Jose. Check with the talent management consultant if you can take the training. Okay, excellent. Number three, Daniel. Daniel? Uh, hi. Read the number three, please. Mm -hmm. And another re requesting uh -huh. your participation. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Number four, Rachel? Rachel? Rachel, are you there? Okay, let's continue. Veronica Portillo, read number four, please. Okay. Rate the need of the tiny you need. Okay, excellent. Number five, Alexis. Brandon Alexis. Specific the date and hours of instruction. Okay, I specify the date of hours and of instructions. Okay, thank you so much. Eduardo Reyes, read number six, please. Eduardo Reyes. Hi. Okay, could you read the number six, please? Mention the place where the event will take place. Okay, send it to the, okay, mention the place where the event will take place. Okay, thank you so much. Number seven, Alex Eno. Alex? Hello. Hello. Number seven, specify, please. Specify the price of the training. Okay, perfect. Freddy, read number eight. Eight. Um, send it the humor reserved department. Okay. Let's see, Denise, read the next one, please. Make sure to include all the information requested. Okay, perfect. Anna, read the number 10, please. If information is missing in the note, we, we will not authorize any training. Okay, we will not authorize any training. Okay, perfect, excellent. So this is the process to request to the training, right? So type of training, let's see type of training. We have excellent customer service improving, improving computer skills. This is the first type. The second one, effective communication. The third one, who read the third one? Learning about, Learning about. within the skill. Okay, the next one, Denise. Organizing time. Okay, Anna, next. Hi. Creating website. Okay, creating website and others, right? So, what we are going to do now, guys, with this information that we, are, we already read, we are going to use that information below to help a college, a colleague, pardon to fill out the training note from, form, right? So we have the event, we have the date, and we have the hours, hours of, of instruction. The place we are going to have that workshop and the price that is going to cost each of the training that you have here, okay? So what we are going to do now, we are going to use this information, we are going to get one of the training that we have here. And you are going to fill in with that information, okay? It's clear? It's clear. Vamos a hacer, sí, sí. Vamos a hacer, este, la, vamos a sacar la información de uno de los eventos o uno de los trainings, ¿verdad? Y lo vamos a poner acá, training notes, right? Y aquí vamos a poner el nombre de quién va a recibir la capacitación. la capacitación. Aquí vamos a hacer como un párrafo 
incluyendo la información, el evento, el día del evento, cuánto va a durar el evento, el lugar donde va a ser el evento y el precio. ¿Ok? Y luego vamos a escribir el nombre de quien lo va a, lo va a recibir, que en este caso podemos hacer nosotros. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Thank you so much. Solo van a escoger uno o dos si ustedes gustan, porque si no, solo es uno.
Finish. Let me know, guys. Mm, me finish, I oh, think. Okay, perfect. No teacher. No yet. Not okay. sure. No teacher. Okay, perfect. One more. One minute more. Okay, perfect. Go ahead.
Okay. Sky, are you ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, volunteers, I read the first one. Me, teacher. Okay, perfect, Maria Jose. Go ahead. Okay, I don't know if it is good, but um, I did this. On July 17th, we have training of um, excellent customer service. Mm -hmm. It has four hours of instruction at the Hotel Center. Mm -hmm. And the price is $40. And it, was, it will be part of Anagalan. Okay. And which place is going to be? In Hotel Center Hour. Okay, in hotel center hour, right? Okay, perfect, excellent. Somebody else? George? Me, teacher. Okay, perfect, go ahead. Okay, on July 7, we are going to training about organizing, organizing time mm -hmm. for two hours at the center hotel for okay. free. In Center Harbor, uh, right? Of the all the employers of the companies. Okay, the Center Hotel. It is for free, right? It's gratis, right? For okay. free. Yes. Per perfect. Thank you so much. Somebody else. I have. I have one more. Okay, go ahead. Do it. For the community manager, we will be training about creating website on July. Mm -hmm. Uh, 28 mm -hmm. duration uh, four hours on the our facilities got free okay it's free also right so we can get there right <laughs> we can take I... it also right it's for free so who else yes for free thank you hi okay go ahead Edition. Yes, George. Okay. Okay. We invite oh, we invite you a training creating website that it be going to happen the that date, July twenty yeah. eighth, in heaven and will last four hours. Okay. Place our facilities and price is free. And the price is free. It's for free also, right? Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Somebody else? Brandon Alexis? Yes, teacher. Okay, could you read Thank your you. your event or your training that okay. you're going to offer your colleagues? Training. The, the event is on July 70 and July 19. Uh, I'm going to do a training in a center mm -hmm. for 10 hours. Okay. Uh, the price is $120. Uh -huh. uh, the names the employees is Alexis Velasquez. Okay. So you are going to take the effective communication course, right? Yes, the event is the effect communication. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent. Somebody else? Veronica? Um, the training will be on July 28th and we'll be uh, creating, creating the website for five hours at the, um, the Central Hotel for the free. Okay, it's for free also, right? So you are going to take creating websites or learning about what no, it's lo mismo. That's creating a website. Uh -huh. van a, van a, a ver dos el mismo día, right? Because on July 8, 28, it's going to be creating website and learning about writing skills. But one of them is going to during 
five hours and the other one's going to during four hours. One of them is going to be in our facilities, it's for free also, and the other one's going to be the hotel center, it is for free also, right? Okay, excellent, thank you so much. Nancy, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay Nancy, what is your training? Uh, the event, mm -hmm. learning about injection, calibration, and date uh, November 4th, mm -hmm. hours of instruction, mm -hmm. four hours um, place, it cafe party, price okay. free. Okay, so it is for free and the place is going to be it cafe party, right? Excellent, thank you so much. Somebody else who wants to share, Morelia? Daniel? Rachel? Me, teacher. Okay, perfect, go ahead. Uh, the event that I chose is mm -hmm. effective communication. Okay. The dates are, the date are 17th and 19th on July. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's, there are 10 hours mm -hmm. and the places in the, in the center, the price is $120. Okay. And the employee names is Alejandra Sunil. Okay, excellent. Congratulations, Denise. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, so we're going to pass to another activity. By the way, somebody else wants to participate before passing it to another activity? The meeting. Okay. Julie, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Okay. In different machinery, example, training nuts. Instructor Brandon McCormick. Okay. May the employees Brandon Alfaro. Uh, place with the Maria investment. Okay. Free plus. plus. <laughs> okay, it's for free also, right? It's gratis, también. One more teacher. Okay, go ahead. The training on website creative is in July 28 on the hotel center okay. and will last uh, four hours. It costs it's free and excellent. will be imparted by Maria Jose. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Somebody else? No more? Okay, perfect. So let's continue. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. The, the evening or, or the, 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 event? The, evening, the event is a meeting in Urban, Urban Bears meeting. Uh -huh. uh, the day is no, uh, 26 November mm -hmm. 29th. The hours of Instruction are 32. Okay. Uh, the place is Oxac, Oxac Mexico. Uh, the price is free. The price is free also, right? Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Thank you so much. Somebody else? No more? Okay, perfect. So let's continue, guys. It says, talk about activities I am doing at my workplace. What are some qualities of a good employees need to have? What do you consider are the, the qualities that a good employees have to have or need to have, guys? Let's have a discussion.
¿Cuáles son la, 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 las características que debe tener un buen empleado? ¿O que tiene que tener un buen empleado? A good job. Ajá. Responsibility. Um, ¿Cómo? Ah, ok. It, he has to be has respons responsible. responsible. Or, respectful. Uh -huh, respectful. Respectful. Ok, muy bien. What else? Proactivity. She or he has uh, to be active, right? Activo, ¿verdad? Muy bien. What else? Um, Llevarse con todos, right? A social person, right? Proactive, ¿cómo se dice? Proactivo, proactive. Proactive, proactive, muy bien. It has to be a proactive, proactive person. person. Uh -huh, okay, yes, you're right. The most important, right? Organizate. Uh -huh. Organizate. Organize, organize it, right? Organizado. Organize. Okay, perfect. So, what is the most essential quality to get a promotion? What do you consider is the most essential quality that that worker has to have to get a promotion? The good job. What? Me al mismo tiempo los dos. Okay, Fred, si no vamos con Verónica. Verónica. Okay, Verónica, latest first. Okay, Verónica, go ahead. Loyalty. Loyalty. Okay. Loyalty. Muy bien. Ahora usted, Freddy. What do you think? The good job. What? <laughs> the good job. The good job. Make a good job. Hacer un buen trabajo. Okay. Make yeah. a, good, a good job. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Who else? Who else wants to give her, his opinion or her opinion? What excels in his job. Uh-huh. Say, how do you say, sobre sale en su trabajo? Oh, it's like to be a proactive person, right? Una persona proactiva y sale, resalta de todo eso. Innovator. Innovator person also, right? Yes. Innovador, pero depende, ¿verdad? ¿En qué área está también? It depends. Siempre se puede innovar. Hmm? Yes, you're right. Somebody else? Capacity in the uh, working. Mm -hmm. Capacity of working. Muy bien. Excelente. Buen punto. Good point. He has to be honest. He has to be honest also, right? It ha or he has knowledge. To uh -huh. In the area. Uh -huh. He or she has to have knowledge in the area. And also has to be outstanding, right? Outstanding is lo que dijo Al Alexis, ¿verdad? O Brando. Dijo que era una persona que sobresalía. Entonces, pues, it has to be outstanding person, right? That's the word. Okay, somebody else wants to give his opinion or her opinion? Uh, he has product, productive and values. Okay, he has to be a productive person, right? Muy bien. And have a values, right? Valores, ¿verdad? Okay, excellent. So let's see. So what we are going to do now, let's listen to your teacher continue. to conversation and then practice with a partner. So here we are going to practice the present continuous or the present progressive, as I told you before, right? So let's see. Who wants to participate? Lo puedo leer yo, pero el punto es usted practique. Y the most you practice, the most you learn. I would like that the ones that uh, almost uh, no participate could do it, right? Because I need to give a balance in that, okay? 
me gustaría que los que no participan muchos, pues nos ayudaran, ¿verdad? O que es, tratáramos, ¿verdad? Para nivelar ese, los niveles. Acuérdense que tenemos que estar al mismo nivel, ¿verdad? De participación y de práctica, please. Porque muchas veces, pues, este, la mayoría son los, son los dos mismos que me ayudan. Entonces, necesito que todos participen, ¿verdad? Todos. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, eh, ¿puedo, ¿puedo escoger? ¿Guys? ¿Victims? Yes, me, teacher. teacher. ¿Who's I me? can help, teacher. Me. Ok, Denise. Denise. Denise, ok, go ahead. And también quisieras llamar a Nancy Saldaña. Nancy, are you there? Yes, teacher. Ok, Nancy, go ahead. Please help me. Good morning. Um, oh. Who's we'll starting? Go ahead. I'm going to be mad. <laughs> okay, Nancy, you start. Okay. You're going to be Peter, Peter, right? Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Peter Bridget. Good morning, Mr. Bridget. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mm -hmm. Promote him as a manager, maybe. Mr. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning and the feedbacks we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? 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 Yeah. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> okay. <Thank you>. Excellent. <laughs> okay, somebody else wants to participate? Me, teacher. Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, Michael and Brando, right? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Peter Rieger. Good morning, Mr. Rujet. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking out some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings and uh, feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a manager managerial position? Okay, managerial position. Okay. Managerial. Excellent. Thank you so much. What is the conversation about in general, guys? Mm -hmm. What repeat the uh, question? Okay, what is the conversation about? ¿De qué se trata la conversación? Peter, Peter uh, needs information. Ask, for ask about information on the Sanchez. Okay, Peter needs an information about mm -hmm. Mr. Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, perfect. So, because he is going to be promoted. Promoted, okay. Va a ser promovido. Le van a dar un ascenso. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay. So, what we're going to do now, guys, discuss the questions. What do you think are some of Mr. Sanchez's quality? 
and you are going to answer that question. So then we're going to check it. You have five minutes, please. Is responsible. Mm -hmm. What else? Just Have responsible? He has a good act act attitude. Uh -huh. He has a good attitude. Okay, we did. So let's see number two. What is the new role Mr. Sanchez will have at the company? At a company. He's manager. going to be a manager. Okay, he's going to be a manager. He's going to get a managerial position, right? So he's going to be a manager. Excellent. What do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current role? ¿Cuál es el rol que está desempeñando Mr. Sánchez ahorita? ¿Qué es lo que piensa? Supervisor. Supervisor. Is, ¿Qué dice? Uh, is what? Maybe. Is, maybe a, an operative role. Maybe he's operator, right? Maybe, right? Okay, excellent. Could be, right? So this is the ones that we were discussing, right? How to use present progressive for ongoing actions. And it says, we use present progressive to talk about ongoing situations, so structure, you already know what is the structure, right? Subject plus verb to be, plus verb in a form, plus the complement. Some examples, we are updating the formation this weekend. The staff is planning to give him a promotion. The staff is planning to give him a promotion. In negative statement, at the first part, of all, not after the verb to be. As I told you before, there are positive form and there are uh, negative forms in which you are going to include the word not. Okay? So what we're going to do now here, by the way, what time is it, guys? Creo que lo hacemos en cinco minutos, ¿verdad? Y nos quedamos ahí. So what we are going to do? We are going to write sentences using the present progressive form of the verb in parentheses. So that means you are going to write a statement. Statement with ing form with the verb that you have here. Okay? Is clear what you are going to do? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you nos quedamos, chicos, y finalizamos. Okay, go ahead.
I finished, teacher. Ok, perfect. Somebody else. Vaya. Si gustan, podemos hacerlo todos. Ok. Ok, Denise. Could you tell me the number one, please? Ok. Uh, my team is planning to have a meeting. Ok, excellent. Thank you so much. Number two. Who's say number two? Me, teacher. Ok, Ana. Go ahead. Uh, the secretary is calling the new boss. Excellent. Thank you so much. Number three. George. George Duran. Sure. Mm -hmm. The mechanic mm -hmm. are checking the machines tonight. The mechanic is checking, right? Ah, mechanics, uh, ellos. Ah, ah, ellos, ok, perfecto. Ah, pues, no dije nada. Ok, thank you so much. <laughs> Don't worry. Thank you. Oh, you mal. Ok, next, somebody else. She is writing a report. Ok, she is writing a report. Ok, perfecto. Next. Somebody else. I am sending two email. Okay, and send me to I am sending emails, right? Okay, perfect. Number six, last one, the last one, please. My mom is please. speaking very loudly. Okay, my mom is speaking very loudly. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Now we are going to stop here, guys, and we are going to continue tomorrow. But I'm going to pass the list for a second time, okay? Just give me some minutes and I'm going to open the list. For the ones that didn't stay in the first time. Okay, let's see. Alex Eno Ramirez Salazar. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you. Brandon Alexis Velasquez Ayala. Present. Thank you. Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela. Denise Alejandra. Thank you, Daniel. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga Aldana. Present. Thank you, Denise. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Present. Okay. Thank you. Freddy Ricardo Landaverde. Uh, here. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Lainez Díaz. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Eduardo Reyes. Present. Thank you. María José Escobar Portillo. Present. Thank you. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Present, teacher. Thank you, Michael. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present. Thank you. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you. Okelly de Jesús Semestica Carranza. Y Verónica Lisset Portillo de Castro. Present. Okay. So, thank you so much, guys. I know that you are so tired because I see you like a chinitos, right? <laughs> and I already hear you, your voice, right? And you're like, Thank you, teacher. <laughs> like the energy is a lot, right? Sure. So I know that, okay? So I'm not going to take more time and Bye. I'm going to wish you a good night, okay? Thank you so much and have a nice dream, guys. Thank you, good Thank night. you so good much. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Good, good night. Bye. Bye. Have a nice dream, guys. Bye. Bye. Good. Bye bye, Freddy. Good night. Have bye a bye. nice swim. <laughs> Nos vemos mañana, primero Dios. Bye. <laughs> okay.